Welcome to Smash Notes, your source for help with matchups, character knowledge, and more. Before we start, I must say, this is not all matchup information needed, just the points I have personally deemed the most important. I'm not going to saturate this video with impractical knowledge. This is realistic advice and knowledge you can take advantage of in a real game, not just training mode theories or vague guidance like, don't get hit. I'll be presenting information with a bit of bias towards the perspective of the player who presented the notes. For example, if they're my notes for a match involving Isabel, the information will lean more towards how Isabel can prosper in the matchup. However, I'll try to add information from the perspective of both characters in the episode as much as I can. If you have more information on the matchup that isn't mentioned in the video, I implore you to mention it in the comments. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the matchup between Isabel and Pac-Man. If I could describe this matchup with only one word beside even, I would describe it as messy. There's a lot going on when Pac-Man is on the stage alone. I'm sure you can imagine this gets even wilder when Isabel can take control of some of Pac-Man's tools. Pac-Man's best landing option is Fire Hydra. When juggling Pac-Man, Isabel players must be ready to pocket it falling towards them. Not only does pocketing it keep you safe from getting hit by it, it also serves as a combo finisher, edge guarding tool, and raw kill option. Pocketing Hydrant will never allow you to use it in its flying state. It'll always come out of Isabelle's hand the same way Pac-Man casts it, which is straight down. Isabelle can react to all of Pac-Man's bonus fruit, except Key. An Isabelle player can use them to their advantage similarly to Hydrant. To pocket Key, the Isabelle player must have a very confident read on the Pac-Man player. For most distances, Pac-Man should be able to punish Isabel with Key on reaction to the Isabel player whiffing Pocket. Isabel having bonus fruit in Pocket will not disable Pac-Man from spawning their own. However, the Isabel player can take out the pocketed fruit to stop Pac-Man from charging it and put it away in close quarters combat. If the Pac-Man player does have godlike timing with their aerials, Isabel can't punish any of Pac-Man's aerials on shield except back air with a frame perfect near out of shield. Use this as a rule of thumb when aerials are done that look like they are really close to the ground. Pocketing Hydrant Water can be used as an alternative way to travel quickly. While in the air, drifting in the direction you'd like to accelerate to, press Neutral B and quickly continue to hold the direction you are traveling. You'll get a boost that you can attack during as well. If you roll to the ledge with your back facing the blast zone, and plant a Lloyd Mine while Pac-Man is off stage, it covers getup attack and neutral getup, allowing you to only worry about roll or jump. However, at low percents, if Pac-Man does getup attack to the Lloyd Mine, it will not carry him all the way up. He will fall out of it. Isabel can make the Hydra airborne with up smash, forward smash, and down tilt in one hit. I've noticed sometimes up smash can be a little janky, but for the most part, if you hit both hits, you will send it upward. If the Isabel player whiffs Fishing Rod from any distance, it's a smart idea to reel it back in instantly and not try to wait for the Pac-Man player to make a mistake. Pac-Man's best ranged punish is to throw pretty much any of the bonus fruit. Reeling it instantly will allow the Isabel player to tether the fruit to her hands, which the Isabel player is free to use however they'd like. If the Isabel player doesn't grab the item, they will have some time to shield as the projectile approaches them. Here's the Smash Notes wrap up. 